myself, if I got the quote correctly, to be a capitalist to her bones. I don't. And the reason I am not is because I will not tolerate for one second the kind of greed and corruption and income and wealth inequality and so much suffering that is going on in this country today, which is unnecessary. Bernie Sanders using capitalist now as an epithet, joining us uh, to discuss this and whether corporations uh, will take a stand on China, another issue that uh, relates to all of this in many ways. John Hope Bryan, CEO and chairman of Operation is Hope uh, this morning. Capitalist as an Operation Hope, not Operation and Hope, <laughs> although, it, <laughs> although it is Operation and Hope. <laughs> We're all hoping. We're all hoping, John. Yeah. Uh, capitalist as epithet, is that, is that create enough uh, enough light between the two of those candidates? And is there light between it the two candidates? It creates great headlines, right? But we got to stop with the prosperity or pitchforks conversation in this country. I, I am who I am. First of all, I think they mean well. I am who I am because... You think Bernie Sanders means well? I think Bernie and Elizabeth mean well. I think most people mean, mean well. I have a couple people I have some hesitations about. But I, I think, we, you know, I grew up in Compton in South Central. Without capitalism and a banker coming and teaching me financial literacy at nine years old, who was Caucasian, by the way, who didn't want to be there, but the law, CRA, forced him to be there, Community Reinvestment Act. When he came and taught me financial literacy, my life fundamentally changed. I said, how'd you get rich legally? Right. So without that, I wouldn't be who I am. I wouldn't have been who I am in China or in France or in Russia. So it's people hate rich people until they become rich. Do you, <laughs> do you think that the people that you spend time with, oftentimes in inner cities that you're trying to help, yep. think of capitalism as a good thing? Or do they hear Bernie Sanders and they say, right on? What, what's, what's, the, what's the prevailing view uh, uh, among, among the, some of the folks you're talking to? We're feeding fears. If capitalism helped me succeed, then I love it. If, ca if capitalism on the other side is success, then I hate it. Most people who are my four million clients love it because they're participating in it, and we show them how through higher credit scores, higher uh, right. aspiration. And, and I'll say what Joe hates, that capitalism needs a software upgrade. <laughs> software <laughs> upgrade. Upgrade. Yeah. No, yeah, it's, I, a, it's a clever way of, of, I understand what you're saying. At least you're, at least you want to keep capitalism and get an upgrade. Yeah, I, mean, I think Bernie, Bern, that's just, I mean, it, but we, sh we shouldn't be surprised. He honeymooned in Moscow. He, we, we know all about Bernie. But, 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 he, he's but, not a factor anyway at but, this point. But with, with all due respect, he's also participating in capitalism. It's like right. my friends well, say that's they, an understatement. It's like the people my friends say they hate America. Well, then go someplace else. But no one's going jumping on a boat or a plane. Don't say go back to where you came from. You can say no, go I'm somewhere not, else. Okay, so by the way, okay. no one's leaving. So. So I'm going I'm to pivot from that conversation, though, to, to a related conversation. You, you talk about capitalism being the We've got to make capitalism work for the, at least these God's children. And that's why what I'm doing Operation Hope. So, okay. And is that, hold on, real quick, is that capitalism or free enterprise? The, it's free enterprise. The free enterprise system. And I think it's best embodied through capitalism is like democracy. It's a but horrible you, system except for every other system. Okay, but where are you then on taxes? I think, we, I think we need. Some people say let capitalism do its thing, free market should do its thing, but then on the other end, the, the, way, the, the way to balance it is then redistribution on the tax side. Let's see if I can get Joe to Joe Go ahead. get a, get a Go rise. Ahead. I don't think it's about taxes. I think it's about aspiration and incentives. I think we need to take the tax system and reimagine it that grows the economy. You've heard me say this before. Let's incentivize, tax me more, right. but, but, but assign my revenue to massive internships, right. a gateway up, massive apprenticeships, a gateway up, doing things that grow the economy. I think people who have wealth resent... If right. it's just being thrown away. John always talks about the other side. Right. He doesn't talk about just bringing down, you know, and, and trying to cap income with, with the billionaires. You talk about using it in effective ways. Oh, which yeah. is what I we're going right. to disagree. No, we massively agree on that. When not, you said I want to incentivize people for opportunity, how would I... You think I want to disincentivize but, people for opportunity? But, but I think he wants to tax people uh, on the higher. Uh, I think That's he wants to tax more on the higher end. We should, yeah. We should. We, we, there's too much. There's not enough. At the top. You got to tax. You, you got to. You got to go beyond that to, to really do some. Absolutely. Right. It, yeah. Just well, no, now. He, now he's talking about taxing people more broadly. Right. Uh, low, I, low, lower and middle income people. He wants should, to tax not, them more. He, we, you can't tax lower income people. Yeah, we're going to give. Them, we, it, we shouldn't be France. All right, because you just drive everybody right. out, right? But we, we also, and we don't want to be Greece, okay? But we have to find a, we need a ladder system like we've had 100 years ago. Okay, so here, the second question, uh, talking about the capitalist upgrade that you always talk about, yeah. capitalism needing an upgrade. How should capitalists or American companies behave, and this now goes to the China situation Freedom's going not with, for with sale. NBA. Freedom's not for sale. When are they supposed to speak out? When are they not supposed to After speak out? After you have out? your first Ferrari, you can probably speak out. Like, it, look, if you, have, if you have one Ferrari, you don't need to be complaining about whether you have three Ferraris. The reality is that 
that we that the, the coach had a voice. He used his voice. We the GM. It wasn't even the coach. We're talking about the GM. The general manager. He had a voice. We should be applauding his independent voice. It's part of what made him successful in America. It's part of our magnet. It is freedom in this country. Right. Freedom. Should, and by the way, I commend uh, Silver. Uh, for what Adam he, Silver. He, I think he's a very tough situation. Commission, Commission NBA. Made, I thought he made a balanced statement. I think that we have got to find a balance here. We, uh, we, our, our values can't be for sale. We cannot put our economy, our culture inside of our economy, and that's what we're at risk of doing. It's not just the NBA. It's, you know, look, we're playing a short game, China's playing a long game, and they're cheating at the long game. And, we, and we're focused on money, they're focused on wealth and power. We're supposed to be smart. You don't so make, what, you don't so make what, money when you can build wealth. So what should we be doing? We should, we should be standing up for the thing that makes America the greatest, freedom and our values. Okay, but then what about companies yeah. that do business in, I mean, Becky talked about it last week, Russia, Saudi Arabia, you name the other country. President Trump is talking about the wonders of Saudi Arabia over the weekend because they spent hundreds of millions of dollars buying, uh, uh, you know, uh, def defense products from us. Uh, respectfully, yeah. I think that that's wrong. My view. Maybe I, we shouldn't be multinational companies. We, oh no, no, we should. We should be all over the world. But, but if I do, China says you've got to apologize, or we're not going to run your games, or you, we're going to. And, and I say, say China, with all due respect, when I stop buying, you stop building. So watch your tone. Mm -hmm. I think they overplayed their hand. I think they're, we're going to see them walking this back gently. I think that we walked it back too much, uh, and I think that we've got to find a balanced view. But we got to stand up for our own values. You don't let a bully pop you in the face. Every bully I met in the playground was, was just that, a bully. And when you push back, they went away. China needs us more than we need them. When, again, when they stop building, when we stop buying, they stop building. We have got to understand, and China has to understand, that we are in a collaborative global economy. And we've got to start using our might in a responsible, ethical and, uh, way. Go ahead. John, you, you, you gave kudos to Adam Silver, but it sounds like you think he should push back a little, a little more I think he's forcefully. in a tough spot. Yeah. I think he's in a tough spot and he's hurting cats. So he's got a lot of interests that he's got to align. I'm just saying, look, when, when, we, when, we have, when Joe and I have our first Ferrari, maybe we should say we're successful enough and we can afford to then stand up for our values and say, you know, I don't need four or five Ferraris. I can sort of say I'm not doing that. Okay, here's the, here's when I was the... coming up, I, I did a couple deals I was not proud of, nothing illegal, but a couple deals. And after that, I said, I'm never going to do that again. And I'm proud to say that I've been able to succeed without doing that. And right. I think that other companies can do that as well. You at least need one other car if you own a Ferrari, because it's always going to be in the shop. In the shop. <laughs> okay, but, I agree. And I don't disagree with you, but let me, let me just play yeah. devil's advocate for a moment, which Please is... Do. Push back. No, no, but, but which is this idea that some people may be getting Ferraris, but there's a lot of people uh, in, in, this, in this country who have benefited from the China relationship. And I'm not talking about people at the top. I'm actually talking about everybody else who goes to sh and shops at Walmart and gets, and gets much lower prices and has actually been able to live dare I say, an even you know, higher standard uh, of life, if you will, or at least a higher standard of living as a function of those lower prices. Which is exactly why every person needs to have financial literacy so you know the deal that you're, that you're now locking yourself into. President Bill Clinton once said something that I thought was very poignant. It's hard to get somebody to agree to the truth when the lie is paying their paycheck. Hmm. And that applies to so much. It's hard to get somebody to agree to the truth when the lie is paying their paycheck. Why are, is this difficult conversation with the tech companies, who are, by the way, are all about freedom right. in China? Why are we having this, why do we walk back a basic comment the gentleman made on his own voice? He wasn't speaking on behalf of the team. Right. Why are we have, so let's just call it what it is and then begin to have an honest conversation. I'm willing to acknowledge that we've never discussed this before. I don't, I'm not blaming anybody. I think this is un, this uncharted territory. We've never talked about giving up capitalism in, uh, 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 in total. And by the way, maybe this is a constructive way of getting us to a point where we actually advance or upgrade capitalism. But you know, that works in so many areas, though, John, and it, it, when people are for self-interest. Now, enlightened self-interest is something that probably, in the end, benefits a lot of people. Uh, absolutely. Enlightened but you, you could say it about, uh, why do we have trouble with teachers' unions? Why do we, are they ever going to, to face the, the truth on what we need to this, do with our education system? So let's, Joe, this is brilliant. So, here, so let, let's just not talk about what we're against. Let's talk about what we're for. Here's two great examples. KKR, yes, I said KKR, <laughs> and Delta Airlines. So Pete Starvos and Henry Kravis has taken their industrials division, 900,000 900, employees, $200 billion in revenue. And they have incentivized their workers making 20 bucks an hour right. with profit sharing. Guess what? 
Morale goes up, right. friction goes down, Delta is profit sharing. Bastion's doing the same thing. Yeah, look, we gotta, when you're being run out of town, get in front of the crowd, make like a parade. We have got to find a way to let America share in the prosperity. Unions should not be at odds right. with companies.